Ladies and gentlemen, what's up, what's up, what's up, world? We are live in the building with Savina in studio. And we have just heard her debut single, debut single, Trouble. Uh, what are you saying? What are the words? I I, I don't want to say them. I want you to say them. You're saying what? In the chorus. Yeah. Um, I don't want to get in trouble, uh-huh. but I'm trying to take you home. Okay, wait, stop that. Uh-huh. These days, uh, can girls take niggas home? Oh is that God. a thing now? Like, oh, wait, are we going thing. back to your mom's house? <laughs> Do you live alone? <laughs> like, where are we going? I can't take you to my mom's house. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's trouble. That, that, that is that's trouble. trouble. That's trouble. Um, nice to meet you. You too. Um, I'm curious. I have a lot of questions, but like, just a random one is, I guess, why start with trouble? Mm. Like, why start with trouble? Because this is like the first way we're hearing about you. Yeah. Or even getting introduced to you. So yeah. I'm curious, why trouble? Okay. Um, it's cause first of all, my main genre is pop. Mm-hmm. I write a lot of pop music and Trouble is my first song I ever recorded outside of all the songs. Ever, I, ever? Ever, ever. Okay. The outside of the songs I wrote and everything, Trouble is like my first everything, first video, first meeting so fresh, that uh-huh. kind of thing. So Trouble just had to go first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a no brainer. Um, I heard about you last week okay. and I was like, wow, okay. I want to, I'm curious as to what this is. I want to know what this is all about, but um, when I was doing my research, I've seen a lot of covers. I've seen a lot of things you've been doing. I think the earliest I've seen is like 2019. So I went back, like, I think YouTube, you started March 2019. And then um, Twitter, August 2019. So, like, around 2019 is when we started, like, seeing pieces of you. Yeah. And not even as Savina, as, as Joy, Joy yeah. you know. So I guess um, I'm curious. I know I've read an interview that says it's as early as when you were five. So I'm curious as to, we're seeing the 2019 kind of shaping into what we see now. Yeah. But I guess, um, especially where you're at right now, like, is, does it feel real? Like, I feel like, do you have to pinch yourself and be like, damn, I'm, because I feel like you're in a really incredible place. You've yeah. just signed to Universal or yeah. AI Records Kenya. Yeah. Um, you've got your new single out and it's was so fresh. Like, not just anybody. It's so fresh is on a beat. Yeah. He's even like a video vixen cameoing and everything. <laughs> yeah. But um, I guess, how does it feel to be Savina right now? Let's start there. It's crazy, actually. Like, what you've said about not believing it and everything. Because um, it's, always, it's always been a goal or a dream of mine to become an artist. Mm-hmm. But back then, like 2019, I wasn't really seeing how it was going to happen. But mm-hmm. I just, I didn't give up. I was like, I'm going to put covers. Or let me start writing now. Let me do all this, all that. And then God just, you know, he did his thing. Some pieces started falling into place. The connections I made around 2020, 2019, mm-hmm. I think they really impacted where I got, how I got here. My nigga, I saw you with Nikita caring in 2020 like it was nothing. Like, just <laughs> hi, like, uh, like just TikTok videos. Like you, I was going through a TikTok like this evening. I'm like, what? I'm like, I, keep, I keep going. There's so, And then you're so funny. <laughs> you're so you. fucking funny. Like, <laughs> the videos you make are so hilarious. Like, there's a personality behind who you are as well. So yeah. it's like... It's just that we didn't know you. Like, I'm telling you myself, I'm being honest, yeah. until, like, last week, I didn't know who you are. Yeah, until the announcement. And then I'm like, huh? Wait, how did this happen? Because I know a couple of people who've been with that label and yeah. then not with the label, but then I, di- I didn't know what the direction they were taking was. Yeah. So it was like, oh, this is maybe where everything's going. Yeah. But I don't know you, and I want to get to know you. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people, the same way I don't know you, don't know you. So I guess the beginning, what's the beginning like? Um, I guess, where and when were you born? I was born in Nairobi, Kenya, okay. beyond the hospital, the time. If you, if you can, if that. you can. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Aga Khan Hospital at 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah, actually, it was my birthday last week, Friday. Okay. Was it, Friday? it was Friday. How old are you now? Yeah, I'm 22. How did that feel? Yeah, um, it's... <laughs> Huh? <laughs> what do you mean hi? <laughs> it's like, like there's your whole life is ahead of you. My birthdays. You know how you get really excited when you're a kid, like, yeah, I'm finally 13. Yeah. And now I'm 14, and it's like, yay, but... Yeah. Okay. Not much, yeah. What do you do? If someone was to ask you, like let's say you're just meeting someone, yeah. what do you do? What would you tell them you do? Um, I write, I sing. Mm-hmm. I also, I'm studying computer science. Nice. I also do a bit of software engineering. And Wait, women in tech and everything? Yeah, exactly. Look at you. Yeah, that's, that's how I can afford to take someone home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, but, you, but I feel like you are trouble. Like you, you like I think it's a song, but there is some trouble element That's towards I'm, I'm you. Trouble. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. You'll have to find out. I okay. Don't know. <laughs> but um, as we get into, you're doing school. Yeah. So are you balancing school and music right now? Yeah. Is it hard? 
it's a lot easier with the new school I joined. Mm-hmm. I was in Strathmore Ooh. and it became a bit complicated okay. for me to kind of balance everything because the schedule is a bit demanding. Mm-hmm. But I managed to start continue my studies online. Okay. So I get to kind of decide when I want to read and all of that. So it's been it's been much better. So when you s- say you write, but you also make music, I guess as a profession, how long would you say you've been doing music as a profession? Probably that same 2019. 2019. That's when I started doing like background vocals for Nikita. Mm-hmm. So that's when I can say my music started. Like I started making some kind of money from my music. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, it was more just singing in choir in high school, you know, singing in the bathroom. So it became professional around 2019. When you were in high school, mm-hmm. um, did you do any of like the drama festivals or the music festivals or were you just like singing in the shower? I did music festivals and all that. In fact, I was a cheer lady. Oh, my check choir. you out. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> put some respect on my name. <laughs> but yeah, so actually high school is when I started realizing, I think I can do the singing thing. It's not a joke anymore. And this started how? Like form one? Form, f- what, form what? one. Okay. Yeah, I started, I got like uh, the, the... Hi, Doris Kibati. <laughs> Hi, Doris. Um, the, the week I joined, I got a solo already like for performing in school uh-huh. and then i just kept being pushed to do music things and being told to join the choir do all that form one yeah How, <laughs> first like, week of form one <laughs> like you started they already giving you like do this do that Imagine, yeah so they really boosted my confidence actually my music teachers really pushed me and that's when i realized okay I th- and I you when you're taking yourself to like this music class yeah like did you think you are any good i'm a white you know you could have gone and played ball yeah. I, don't, I don't know i don't know i don't know what school you went to or yeah. how it was but like i'm sure there was so many things That's art do, yeah. theater whatever i yeah. guess how did you find yourself now you're in the music room like yeah. you know i think i've just always loved music even if it's just listening mm. i've had a kind of i don't think affiliation is the right word mm. i don't know what word i'm looking for but yeah i've just always i'm really obsessed with music okay. so i knew i'm going to take music until form four i'm going to try join as many clubs as i can but at that point i didn't really think i was any good so it was more of let me see what i can learn let me see how to actually get good at this stuff yeah so i know you have sisters because i was looking on twitter <laughs> but like i guess in your family is there anybody musical like does this gift come from someone i'm any Disney too. <laughs> <laughs> now, just some of us we used to watch. I don't know High School Musical. Is and that very <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so I guess is it like in the family or is it like a you thing? Yeah, uh, my dad sings, mm-hmm. but never really professionally. Mm-hmm. But we're kind of a music loving family, so just you know always listening to music and that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, but now taking it seriously, it's probably I'm the first in the family. But it's my dad's side that's more musical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. As you start to figure out, okay, I'm singing and from one, guys think I'm good and all of this. I guess before at this point, what did you want to be? Like when you were f- when you were going into high school, what did you want to be? Still an artist. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know what or how. I didn't know what that looks like and how it was going to happen. Mm. But and you're not even afraid. Like I, you're like I want to be an artist. At that point, I was scared of telling mm. people that. Okay. It was those those things you keep in your head. Of you course. see how right now I can tell you, I want to you know win awards for my music and that kind of thing. There's a confidence I've grown. But back then, it's just could jam too. Yeah, one day, one day I'll be an artist. But mm. no one really knows that's my goal. Yeah. For, not even yeah. your sisters? No one? Uh, my family, probably. Okay. Yeah, but not at I go up and tell you, guys, Mutani on a TV, Siku Moja. That uh-huh. started maybe now after 2019. Okay. Yeah. Where did you go to high school? I was in Riara. Okay. Riara Girls High School. Uh-huh. Then for A-levels, I was at Brookhouse. That's where I met Nikita. So, I'm assuming the choice to go... To Brook House was for B Tech, exactly, uh, and that's because you already knew. Okay, I want to do music, and I want to do it as a business. So, like, with and uh, I guess, how did that? W- why? why how, how did you find out about the B Tech program and make it make sense for you and what you wanted to achieve? Yeah, there's a friend of mine called Mike Midwa. Mm-hmm. He did his IFY there. Okay, so he just kind of told me there's this program you would really love. Like, it's called B Tech Music. Just do it. That's all the information I had. Uh-huh. I didn't know anything else about it. I was like, okay. <laughs> So come as a phone for come yeah. be as nini. I told them guys man I do this and of course they didn't really understand it at that point but I'm glad they gave me the opportunity okay. to go. Yeah. How long is the program for someone who doesn't know about the program never been as a, never even heard about it yeah. like hearing about it for the first time. How long is the program? It's 2 years. Okay. Yeah, it's a great great program. Would you would like would you learn to this 2 years? Um 
I learned a bit of music production. Mm-hmm. I learned songwriting. I learned. I saw you record album. yourself for like a Christmas. You did a Colosa Christmas cover. Yeah. And you literally were recording yourself, and I could see you laying the vocals. Yeah. And you have to be able to like engineer to some extent to be able to understand how to yeah. do that. Because a lot yeah. of people are like, what is this? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> but it's to a very basic level. What an Isijita producer. <laughs> no, but it's but good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do a few things. Yeah. Okay. So that I learned all of that there. You know, also just being taught by a lot of mentors like Ian Bugwa, Eric Wainaina, they also really helped with learning my voice, learning how to perform, how to write, all of that. So it's a great program for anyone that wants to, you know, develop their music. So for anyone, a lot of people do, don't know about the program, but it's very expensive. So I guess for you when you're entering this program, are you thinking this is what I'm going to do like as uni or I, I guess for you, I guess what was the end goal? Like to learn more about something you're interested in or was it like, okay... I'm going to figure out what this does. Yeah, I think more of just finding out what's this thing that someone thinks uh, it would be great for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then when I entered is when I realized the full scope of how impactful that program was, yeah. Okay. Mm. Do you get to sing within the program? Yes, yes, we performed all the time at assembly. We went to all the Sereni ones. We, nice. Yeah, so they, they do take us around to perform, yeah. Um guessing or suspecting at some point in this program someone sees your talent and kind of pushes you towards where you're at right now mm-hmm. but i guess how does it unfold is it you pushing yourself and finding yourself opportunities or is it more you being in the right place at the right time i think it's a combination of both mm-hmm. because definitely i had to put myself out there i had to force issues <laughs> until someone notices you um and then i was lucky enough to be you know, in the same year, someone like Nikita who really pushed me mm-hmm. or also have a teacher like Ian Bugwa, you know, so so this is that combination of the right things happening at the right time. Mm-hmm. But you definitely have to have that self-drive and you have to put yourself out there. There's a studio I saw you in that you used to record a lot of your covers on YouTube okay. and I had to find like the first YouTube channel oh. <laughs> because now you're on Vivo. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> but um, I found the first YouTube channel yeah. where you used to post a lot of your covers, yeah. the Overdose, the Adele cover. Yeah. And oh, I'm okay. quite curious. You what's homework. Yeah, bruh, I was like, damn. <laughs> I was saying, bro, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> um, with what studio was that? Because I feel like a lot of where you kind of were learning was in that studio. Because yeah. it's a space I saw you like do a lot of different things. Yeah, I genuinely don't remember okay. the name of the studio. <laughs> I, I can tell you the directions, like where it is. Yeah, but I don't remember the name. Uh, yeah, so I just I met a guy called Kinyash mm-hmm. who would help me take the videos. I bring him like a YouTube sound, then he mixes them for me, and that's how it started out. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so you. We're recording covers with what? How are you recording these covers? Just in the you studio. S- do you see, like in the video, yeah. which is happening literally name by live. Then he goes, he takes that vocal, he puts it together with the the sound. Yeah. He then he sends me the video with everything. And then you and upload to it. Record them as I'm literally performing. Yeah. Do you, so you couldn't even edit. You're just doing take, and then yeah, I you send it then, to him. Then yeah. Then we see what happens. <laughs> yeah. And at the time, are you? You, are you in school at the same time? Mm, yeah. Yes, at that point I was in Brookhouse State. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And after Brookhouse, did you have plans? Like, what was your plans for after Brookhouse? Mm. School, more school. Mm-hmm. I had to go to uni. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, music-wise, I think I was a bit stuck. But I told myself I'll just try release something. So actually, this trouble you're hearing, mm. I wrote it two years ago. I, I like what you said. Yeah. You said you were stuck. Yeah. What does stuck look like? It's. It looks like... Being confused, mm-hmm. um, not seeing... Because there's someone hard. listening right now who's yeah. stuck and they don't know how to get unstuck. Yeah, it's hard. And they're probably just where you... Like, I guess, what, what does stuck look like? Yeah. For me, actually, personally, you'll see at some point I just stopped making covers. Mm-hmm. So I'm seeing, first of all, this thing is going nowhere. And then I take really long social media breaks mm-hmm. <laughs> when I'm sad. So I just switch off. Even your highlights are so shit. You have the <laughs> same picture for all your highlights. I was so disappointed. Like, how is someone supposed to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. BTS, I, I, same thing. Music. I'm like, this is a joke. What are you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, let me... I need to fix that, actually. Um, yeah. And I think it's just trying to find new ways of... But you know the thing the is, problem. I don't think you were doing anything wrong. And yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I don't think you're doing anything wrong because you were making covers. You had found someone who was believing in you and your talent enough to even help you with the editing part of it. Yeah. I feel like at that point as an artist, and the reason I'm asking what does it mean to be stuck is like, at that point you're doing everything you can. I don't think there's anything more you could have done for yourself. Yeah. Was it, am I, am I, am I, am I, um, what do you think about what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree that definitely 
that was all I could do at the time. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. But what I was trying to say before is it's about the same problem, trying to figure it out in different ways. So I tend to not be static. I don't stay in the same place. Or if I'm seeing this YouTube thing, it's not going anywhere. Mm. I, uh, let me start try writing my own music. Mm. I'm writing my own music. It's not also going anywhere. Okay, let me try performing for Kina Nikita. Mm. And with Universal, I've actually been signed for those two years. Or uh, for a year now. And that's wow. when things are coming out. So and that's not happening. I'm like, okay, let me go record new music. Let, I just have to keep myself busy. But you're working towards the same goal. You're just trying to... You're just finding new ways of battling it. Yeah. So you don't see it like... Amen. Uh, you're like, okay, how do I do that? Okay. Yeah. And that's really yeah. that, you really have to do that with life though cuz yeah. like this door closes and then you're like, exactly. okay, I have to find a way in. How do I enter? Yeah. If the door is closed, look for that window, climb through the window. You can't you can't stay in the same place cuz you won't grow. Yeah. Yeah, the only way you grow is you have to push yourself. You have to be resilient. You have to accept when you're stuck and say aki for real I feel bad. Mm. You mop a bit and then get up. Do you show people way. this part of the process though? Or can you? Barely. I think especially the social media thing. Mm. Since I just switch off, yeah, I don't really show anything. Crazy yeah. that you say something. Yeah. You say you've been signed for a while. Yeah. But we're just hearing of it. Yeah. I'm s- quite curious as what that pr- that process has been like. Yeah. I wouldn't say the pressure, but like it's like... I would call it sit and wait kind of thing. Like yeah. you just sit wait. Let's we're, we're figuring it out. We'll yeah. we'll circle back to this. Yeah. But it's you're a human. Yeah. So I'm sure you have ups and downs. You're like I want this to work now. Exactly. I want. Th-. So I guess like, how's how was it one being told by Universal they were interested in you? Yeah. And like wow, okay, me like was it like I deserve this or was it am I good enough? And like I guess how how's it unfolded and how's it changed your life? Yeah. I think it's the same as the high school, the, the high school thing. Mm-hmm. Now the confidence grows again. You're like, oh shit, I'm, I'm the shit. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> good at this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, they've not had anything else. They actually only had trouble. And they were like, we want, we want. Because they, they say it was a no brainer. Yeah. But then we don't know anything about you but trouble. Yeah. So it's like, clearly they've seen something about you, exactly. but we haven't seen it. We're just seen trouble. Yeah. And trouble is an amazing song. Amazing. I'm glad you have a video to even like bring it out. Yeah. But I guess like, what did they see? What did they see? What do you think they saw? I think they saw they saw first of all a sound that's not really there. Mm-hmm. Um I don't think I've had too much of it in the market at least. So they must have seen something unique in me. Um and just the resilience and um I don't really know what else they saw. I'll okay. ask them. <laughs> I'll ask them. <laughs> but um, I'm glad they saw something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um you said you wrote trouble. Yes. Um and you wrote that alone? Yes. How's how's how did you start writing or how's your writing process? I started listening to type beats on YouTube. Mm. And then I do mm, until I find a melody. melody I like. And then I realize I'm really good at rhyming words. And that's what I do. Okay. <laughs> that's the same thing I did is trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So have you been able to like write more songs or like wh- how many songs have you recorded? Recorded, I've recorded 10. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a... How many do you love? Of the 10 I've recorded. All 10? I can say like nine. There's one I want to scrap. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. But written, I've written probably 40. Wow. So I have quite a catalog right now. It's just, I'm just now dishing them out. You know, I'm not actually writing. I've had them for time. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. tired. tired So when you say Zienda, do you want to record them yourself or you wouldn't even mind selling them or having other people sing them or voice them? I think at this point, they're my babies. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be selfish. Okay. Yeah. Um, They're not on the market. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's your plan? I guess I'm sure there's a plan from the label. Yeah. I'm sure there's a plan from God. I'm sure there's so many other plans. I'm sure people want this and this and this and this. But I guess, what do you want? What do I want? Because like, it's your life. I feel like it's your life. Yeah. Hopefully it's still your life. Yeah. Um, someone says she's just like me. But um, it's, it's your life. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from your life? Where do you want to take this? Um, my hope, my dream is to be one of the biggest acts in the world Mm. i don't know if that's too big to say i don't really care (laughs) but genuinely for my music to reach places i couldn't even imagine places i didn't even know exist Mm. yeah and um i believe all the people in my life right now are just stepping stones to get me to that goal but that's always been my i think i've just been able to admit it recently Mm -hmm. but that's always been my hope to see my name on billboard 100 to go get a grammy that kind of thing and 
yeah, that's really my hope. That's my dream. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. So we'll see how God makes it happen, but lazima it happens. I've, I've announced it, so it can't just happen now. What's on Kuliza? Kuna pressure or are you having fun? Because someone here is asking me, can you speak Swahili? So uh, we won't get to that yet, but is kuna pressure or or like are you feeling like, okay, this is my, like, are you, like, is there pressure? There's all the time. Actually, Self or external? Mine. Mm. I'm the problem. It's me. It's <laughs> Your trouble. <laughs> I'm trouble. Your trouble. I'm, I'm my own trouble. Yeah, I give myself so much pressure. Actually, a big thing I had was, I've told you trouble was there for two years. Mm. Each birthday that passed that it wasn't released, I would break down. Like, I was like, why, is, why isn't it? And you're telling happening? me, like, it was already, you had already written it, so Fresh had recorded it. Yes. It was just not out. Yeah. And that was whose fault? <sighs> just Can a, we blame a you? Of a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, you had to wait for two whole years before we could hear that. I can imagine, yeah. So, and then like, these, these other 40 songs you're saying, they're like your babies, and they're like <laughs> just waiting. Ziko, too. Yeah, yeah. But at least, like, I'm seeing. I've I've also learned how Let to Let me ask you something. If you could perform right now, for example, uh-huh. could you perform unreleased music? Or like do you have to wait for it to be re- like if you, what could you what are you allowed to perform? I think yeah, just covers and trouble now. I okay. don't think I'm allowed to share the unreleased stuff. But yeah. I'll find out. And okay. I'll come back and tell <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> as for now I don't think I can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um who would you like to work with? I'm curious as who you'd like to work with. Um both producers but also artists. Okay. Artist, I'm really listening to Ndovoku. Ooh. A lot right now. He likes your pictures. No, <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he sees you. He sees you. Um, He's a dope producer. I think yeah, that'd be a dope session, too. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, who else? Producer, uh, this uh, Sedo. Mm, yeah, I'd like that'd be fire. To, I don't know even if he knows me, but yeah. I really he like should, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nikita. Mm-hmm. So Nikita is your teacher. Nikita is your friend. Nikita is your homie. What's like? What's your relationship with Nikita? It's like all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's she's a really good friend of mine. She's a star. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She really is. And she's the person that made that dream, you know, achievable. She's the one that showed me. Imagine it's possible. It's not far fetched to want to be an artist. For real. Kenya. Really? Yeah. Like when I met her, I was like, imagine. It's possible. Mm. You can do these things. You just have to really work. You guys don't see how much work she puts in. She's working day and night. So she does a lot. Yeah. So she's a friend. She's an inspiration, a mentor, all of that. A whole conglomerate of things. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, I was going to ask you who inspires you, but I think I'm more curious as to what you've had to sacrifice to get to this point. So someone says they like your earrings. Um, Oti Malik says he likes your earrings. But... um. I guess people see you on radio or you in the news or you doing whatever you're doing. Um, I guess, what do you what do you have to sacrifice so that you can... Because this is your dream mm-hmm. and your passion. What are you sacrificing so you can have this? Like, Sleep. do you have a normal life? <laughs> Sleep <laughs> is one of them. Okay. Um, I think... Before I'd fuck, I fuck I had sacrifice a lot of like free time, fun time. I wouldn't have time to, you know, hang out with my friends. Yeah. But I'm learning how to also have a balance, like still enjoy myself and still work and still study and you know, do all that. What am I really sacrificing? I think it's mostly sleep. Okay. Yeah. I love sleep at night. It's been cut to like six hours. I know it's still a lot, but I usually need like 10 hours, but okay. it's okay. Yeah. So I want to ask you a very important question. A lot of um, a lot of young creatives right now are all about, let's get the bag, let's get the bag, let's get the bag. Like when I, every time I see someone like who's successful like in Kenya, they're like 23 years old. And I'm like, damn, these guys are 23 and they're and successful. They I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, it's possible. Um, but I guess like, I'm curious as to... You're you're pursuing something that you love, which is music. Mm-hmm. But then the bag might not be there right now, right now. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you have to kind of if you're patient, it pays off. Yeah. But then there's like the bag, the bag. So it's mm-hmm. like we all want an Elsa Majimbo bag. Yeah. But then everybody's journey is different. So I guess for you, your process, um, I guess what are you enjoying the most of the process? Mm-hmm. And how do you, Is are you getting the bag or are you also now figuring out, okay, I'm going to be patient, I'm going to build my brand. I'm, like, I guess 
the pr- like being where you're at right now and yeah. then like everybody's like the bag the bag and then it's like not you can't always be about the bag yeah yeah um i think what i'm enjoying the most right now mm. is definitely just seeing my music out or seeing people enjoy my music mm-hmm. um about the bag what's i going to say completely forgotten oh you know that investment point in a business yeah where you're putting everything you can before you get anything you back get attack, you throw it back that kind of thing that's where i'm at so i don't i don't think i'm making too much from it mm-hmm. but it's not an issue because i mean i don't know completely yeah i have it's a long term investment in my mind that's how i'm looking at it so i think we just saw like nameless touch stage at blankets um this weekend mm-hmm. and guys like yo it's been like could you see yourself doing this for like 30 years like you're just like you're just you're growing you're evolving your career like could you see yourself doing this even when you're a mom even yeah. when you're like at Yes, this, this is, is the idea, idea I'm told. <laughs> okay, you can't sing anymore. Your vocal cords have said no. That, yeah, or you can't dance anymore. That's me. It's it's for life. That's okay. what it is for me. Yeah. Um dancing. So do you like dancing too or is it like I guess how's how much like the the dancing, the singing, the everything? How cuz you have to prepare for choreography and all of these things, right? Yeah, yeah. So what are you doing to like make sure you're on top of everything? I think TikTok. I've been really lazy actually. I need to get back on it. <laughs> But I taught myself how to dance with TikTok and you and YouTube. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know if So you like you know like those TikTok challenges. Exactly. So you like you yeah, But yeah, those challenges are, there's the too mirror. many moves. <laughs> there's too many moves <laughs> happening. That's how you learn. That's how you learn. <laughs> I just go to my bathroom, na dance, na dance, I sweat, then I go sleep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's how I prep myself. Mm. But learning Korean for the first time uh-huh. for the video is really difficult. It's a lot of pressure, but You talked about having to do um school online mm-hmm. um because of like everything else you have to do. Yeah. How's how are you doing school online in a school here? Or is it a school outside and like how I guess how's that, in terms of balancing like how you actually balancing? Yeah. Because is it like a time zone mm-hmm. online or is it I guess how you were, you're doing online now which is easier for you but like I guess what's that about? Yeah. It's a school outside. So um the time zone thing is mostly when they have webinars but mm-hmm. how it's set up is there's pre-recorded lectures and everything so I get to do my assignments whenever I want do the classes whenever I want mm-hmm. yeah so it's, there's not much of a restriction and it makes my life really easy okay. yeah it makes my li- I can decide to do a week's worth of work now like I can see and be ahead oh exactly okay. so act- that's actually what I do because ah. I know like ah next week I'm going to be busy or like my birthday weekend I know I'm out the whole time yeah. Monday I've sat I've done my work for the next like two weeks and okay. then, yeah then I just wait <laughs> If you had to leave Kenya Yeah like if you had the chance like if you got the chance to leave Kenya I don't know maybe to go do a musical or just go on tour do something would you leave us What do you mean by leave like for good <laughs> or like, just for a tour like If you got a chance to leave Kenya go out there in the world Yeah um would you leave I'd leave but I wouldn't forget Okay Yeah <laughs> But home. you're not coming back. No, no, I, I would, I would. This is my home. I can't not come back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so one of the coolest things I experienced when I was trying to figure out who you are was your TikTok. Has is so funny, and I feel like there's such there's a personality behind Savina um, that is super cool, and I feel like it's like you're so normal. And you're like, it's like you're normal, but then it's like, I feel like because with the music we haven't heard so much music from you, and you know that one song, so we don't know who you are really. But yeah. I feel like your TikTok is so hilarious. Like you have such a Thank dope you. personality. Um, do your friends take you seriously when you're like, look at me, I'm a serious person? And then it's like your your TikTok is funny. You're a funny person. I guess like, how do you balance the human and how do you balance joy and then Savina? And Savina. Yeah, because I feel like you're as a person you have dope vibes and dope energy, but yeah. then then you have to also be a brand and an artist. Exactly. Well, I'll find that out. I, I don't know yet. I've not had to I've not had to separate the two yet. Okay. Yeah. So, but everyone thinks I'm a clown. So And it's has it always been like that. It's not, it's not new. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm a clown. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um someone is asking me how did you get the name Savina? Oh. So your name is not your real name is not even close to that. Yeah. She even she wrote is not like it doesn't yeah, like, yeah. So, so I guess you, what you up, yeah. yeah. So um actually when I was about to start my career maybe three years ago, mm-hmm. someone advised me to do it anonymously. So like you see how Sia you didn't know Yeah, the, you couldn't even see her exactly. face until the other day. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I couldn't use the name Joy. So I had to look for a name that was really outside. So I'm literally coming up with names, I'm putting letters together and syllables. 
And then I remembered when I was like 12, I'm Roman Catholic. So when I was like 12, I gave myself the name Savina for confirmation. <laughs> you gave <So> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to pick a name for okay. confirmation. Yeah. So and unfortunately, it's a saint name and I'm doing very secular music, but it's a great name. Okay. So I just went on Instagram to check is the name taken on YouTube, all that. Barely anything. So I was like, oh yeah, that's my name then. Nice. Yeah. So you've been Savina for how long? A year, maybe two okay. years. Yeah. So do people call you like people who know you? Does anybody call you Savina? And you're like, huh? In wait. Anza and it's so weird. Like, like you like respond, it's so odd. <laughs> Savina. <laughs> like it's so weird. I hate it actually. Really? But you came up with a name for I yourself, know. so you have okay, no I hate excuse. It from, like my close friends, okay. like someone that's known me, known me. They're like Savina too. Oh, no, no, stop. Just don't do that. Yeah. Okay. But I'm trying to get used to it. I'm starting to get used to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your family, mom, dad, siblings. Mm. I guess what do they think of what you're doing? Because I feel like it's really brave. Yeah. Um, and it's different. But like, I guess what do they think about this? I think that I think they're mostly proud. Mm -hmm. I think I nearly gave my parents a heart attack <laughs> the first time. How? I don't know. The music is really. You know, I'm still seen as a as a young girl, like a uh, kid and everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I think I shocked them a bit. And I came and told them this. Is they, 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 they know baby. you know these things. They like didn't this is our baby. Know. <laughs> <laughs> like guy, this is Nivi watu home. Nyumba ya nani? Nyumba ya nani? Savina. Yeah, but they're mostly. I think they've just always been really supportive okay. of me. Yeah, yeah, they've been really great. Yeah. Okay. And my sister is like my number one fan. Aww. She helps me write sometimes. So, yeah, that's okay. my babe. Mm. Is there someone you have ever written with or feel comfortable writing with? Um, So far, just Nikita. She's okay. one I've written with. I don't oh, and my friend Tim. Okay. He's called Tim Marinaitwe. I know Tim. He's you in television. Tim? Yes, he's so yeah. talented. Amazing. So, actually, he's one of the he first He signed to Rainmaker. Like, yeah. yeah. He's one of the first people I started writing with. Okay. So, yeah, Tim and Nikita are the people I write with. Yeah. Is there any chance we could get like music from you and Nikita? See you wait. Uh, <laughs> another two years. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> another two years. Yeah. All right. Um, I've really enjoyed getting to know you. I guess I'd want you to do two things. Mm -hmm. Um, one, I want you to s give a message to someone out there who's listening, mm -hmm. who might be stuck mm -hmm. or might be looking up to you. And then I want you to manifest. Um, we like to manifest on the show. So I want you to manifest, I guess, the things you want for Savina. Yeah. The things you want for yourself, um, where you see yourself taking this or just some words of affirmation you can put out there. So we're trying to inspire someone who's stuck, but we're also trying to speak to the universe about where you're taking this. Yeah. Okay. So um, for the person that's stuck, you'll be fine. You have to, at some point, you have to trust God. And just let things unravel. But giving up is the biggest disservice you can do to yourself. If you say, you know what, I don't know where to go from here and I'm done with this. That's, you're never going to move. So I think just keep going. It's not easy. It's never easy for anyone. Trust God. And just find a new way to move forward. Yeah, that's mm. what I'd say. Nice. Yeah. Um, so... I hate asking people for new music because it's like, we need new music. It's like, we just gave you new music. It's four days old. We Literally. can't. So I can't ask you for new music. But I guess, um, what do you want to, what, what, what last words do you have for the people? Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me. Is it, is it that way? Yeah. Oh, so they can't even see me. I've been looking <laughs> at the camera. They can see you, but you can't see them. <laughs> or oh, we can turn it around. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, what's I going to say? Oh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me. Go stream Trouble. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's about it. So where can they find you? So they want to know where to find Savina. Where okay. can they find Savina? Where is Savina? Are you online? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you on TikTok? How can they find you, follow you, all of that? Okay, I'm on Instagram and TikTok and the name Savina, also Twitter. I'm on YouTube as well. I'm trying to be on Facebook. I just don't know how that app works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. Ask your mom. Like, Facebook's for moms. <laughs> and I, I need to ask. I don't know how it works. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's where you can find me. It's S A V I N N A H. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please go stream her latest single. It's out right now. It's called Trouble. So it's S A V I N N A H. A H and that's trouble. So um, she's got a video out right now. Um, the single is out on all streaming platforms, so you can catch that on all streaming platforms. And she's gonna be giving you new music. Um, she's got so many more songs on the way. So please, please follow her. Stay tuned. Find her. She's gonna be here to stay. So please support her, guys. Okay. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you for having me. Um, I wish you the very, very best with your career okay. as it starts, and I can't wait to see where you take this.
Alright guys, this is Trouble by Savina. Enjoy. <laughs> 